my beautifuls. So I, um, this was, <laughs> I can't even English. This was such a long time ago that I started this. So the video quality for the next video is gonna look like shit, but. <laughs> I am really proud of how it all came out. I made an art project for my friend Andrew for his birthday. Um, it took a few months and to get it to him because he lives very, very far away. Um, and I finally was able to get it to him and I told him to record himself while he was opening it. So the next video is going to be the process of how I made it and then him opening it. So I hope you all enjoy. So my friend asked me to um, make him a canvas because he saw my canvas up there. And he was like, you know what, I've always seen your artwork and I've never actually got anything from you, so can you draw something? And I was like, okay. So backstory, I met him a couple years ago at a rave. And at the rave, we were in the line to get drinks. Um, and we ended up bumping into each other and he was like decked out in rainbow gear. And he also had a rainbow flag as a cape. And I was like, this motherfucker is the best person I've ever met. A rainbow cape, like I want one of those. And so we ended up talking and hanging out that night. And I've been friends with him ever since. So here's my plan. My plan is to do a canvas with um, a stencil of a cat, and inside of that cat is going to be different drawings of cats on the inside. Then I'm going to place the stencil back on top, and I'm going to spray paint the background in rainbow, um, because, you know, the rainbow flag, and he's obsessed with cats. Oh, also he's gay. So, I've done the stencil for the cat. Uh, it was harder than I thought, but I just finished it. Side note! <laughs> I got all this cardboard from my work when I worked at Domino's and I was like, I'm gonna do something with it. So I ended up keeping it because we're throwing it away and I'm like, I'm gonna keep it. So I have about like 50 of these things in my room with all of my other art stuff everywhere. Um, so I ended up making the stencil cat out of this. So I just finished the stencil of the cat that I'm going to use for the canvas for him. So this is the stencil part. And so I'm going to put it on a canvas around that size. I totally forgot to record myself coming into Walmart to get all the art supplies, all, all the art supplies for Al, um, Andrew's project, that I, the painting I'm going to do for him. So I'm in Walmart, I'm in the checkout line. I got all the colors of spray paint. Oh my god, those paints just in case. Ignore the batteries, that's for um, a K-pop concert. I have bought a bunch of brushes. I had to get a sewing kit because that was on my list because I ran out of stuff. So I'm almost there. I got all my shit. Now it's time to check out. It's $86. Alrighty, this is the canvas I got with the stencil. I'm so excited, it's coming together. Okay, so today I'm off, so I decided to at least do part of the, the cat. The, that's too early, sorry, I blanked for a second. The canvas um, for Andrew. So I got the outline of the cat on there, and I got a giant mat that I glued together so that I can spray paint it because I'll be fucked if I get spray paint in the apartment. So let's get it. So I'm sick and I stayed home. So if you can't hear me, I'm sorry. My voice hurts, but <clears throat> a few days ago I finished the spray painting of the cat. You know, I gotta take all of the tape off. Oh, let's see how it turned out. It's been a totally long day at work today and I totally forgot to post about this, but I just did the outline of the cat and um, it, it looks good, I have to show you. Look it. All I gotta do is do the drawings and the letters and then I'm done. So far, so good. So I didn't think this at all when I was doing the watercolor paint. I totally forgot that I was making a video. I ended up wanting to do a sunset on the background, but then when I was doing the watercolors for the outline of the cat, like the, the inside, I was like, oh my god, I don't want to ride over this, this looks too pretty, and so that's where all of the watercolors and stuff came from, um, so that's how 
the inside of the cat was formed. It was pretty though. I love it. It turned out good. So I just figured out that the original idea for this cat is not what I did. I wanted to do a cat with, in the inside, a bunch of cats. But then I ended up adding letters. I asked people on my Snapchat, on my social media, um, which one do you like best? And you know, the one I came up with is the one that won. And then, um, and then inside the actual letters, I'm gonna do a collage of all the things he likes in black and white. And then I was thinking about doing, oh, I can get rainbow glitter. I was thinking silver, but rainbow glitter sounds cool. Um, and putting it around the outside of the letters so it pop a little bit more. I think that'd be really cool. Yeah. Guess what came in? Okay, so I'm opening it right now because you asked for a video. So. Sorry, sorry. Oh my goodness, this is so cute. Oh, Thank you, Stacy. This is so cute. Oh my god, I love it. <laughs> oh, this is adorable. Thank you so much. This is this is one of the most thoughtful presents I got for my birthday. Thank you. I'm going to put it up in my room. Love you.